Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Zion Builder tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to easily create an animated sticky header like this one. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with a common layout that has a static header. As you can see, the header moves up with the page as I scroll down, but I want it to remain at the top. The easiest way for me to achieve this is if I set the header display position to sticky. Just like this. Now if I refresh the page, my header should be sticky. Nice. However, in most cases, we want the header's background to be transparent. Let's see what happens if we change the color. This doesn't look right at all. We should aim to bring the header above the hero header, because right now they look like two different objects that do not overlay. To fix this, the easiest way would be to set the position to fixed, but be sure to have your header's width set to 100%. Because if you don't, your design may end up looking like this when using position fix. Okay, so we have our sticky header, but we can push this effect even further and make it more interesting by adding a small animation to it. I'll change the background color again because I want to increase the header height, and when I scroll down, I want the header height to slightly decrease. All right, now we'll be able to better see the animation that we are trying to achieve. Let's go back to the header size options under the style and tab and change our header height. I will set mine to 150 pixels. You can choose any size you want. Nice. In order to decrease the size when I scroll down, I will use a small JavaScript code. You'll find a link to it in the description so you don't have to type it in manually. Basically, this function adds a new class to our header when we scroll down, and when we scroll back up, it removes that CSS class. To trigger this function, you only need to copy this nav header ID and paste it to your header advanced tab under element unique ID. Awesome. Let's make one small adjustment to the transition. Let's set it to 400 milliseconds and let's use Easen Out to make the transition smoother. Now, if we refresh again, we should see this nice sticky header animation when we scroll. You should let your imagination run wild and create other effects using the same technique. I hope you will find this useful, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video. Bye.